Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything I found at the thrift stores this week. So if you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It's free and all that it means is that you'll get notified whenever I post a video. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. <music> So I am here in my family room today. Um, it's very early. It's actually Sunday morning um, and I'm going to attempt to uh, film, edit, upload, and post this with a thumbnail by, for 2 p.m. today. But I'm going to attempt to do that within the next two hours because in two hours I need to leave to go meet up with Jamie from Border Bananas and Robin Johnson. We are going thrifting together. So when you watch this video, that's what I will be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. Um, before I do, I just wanted to share with you one gift that I received from in a friend mail package. And it's from a fellow YouTuber. Her name, her channel name is Sandy Taylor Photography. But she has an Etsy shop called Secret Cottage Studio, and she sent me this bracelet. Holy cow, I love this bracelet so much. And I, I just took a shower, so it's kind of sticking to me. But she basically takes vintage jewelry and then newer stones and newer jewelry items and pairs them together. It is so sparkly. It's blue. I adore it. So I highly encourage you. And her prices are very reasonable for the amount of work that she puts into these. So I highly recommend, I love this. And I please encourage you to go check out her Etsy shop because um, there are some beautiful handcrafted items on there. So, okay. So let's go ahead and get right into this haul. If I seem to be talking quietly, that's because it's 7 a.m. I'm gonna show you the sky. I took some footage and my family is mostly sleeping except for my husband so i'm gonna try to not be too loud okay first i'll show you what i got at that vintage shop if you haven't seen it i'll post a link above and below that was my shop along that i posted yesterday you might hear some sounds those are my puppies who are not normally in the room with me because they're loud like children <laughs> so uh, i'm going to show you what i got at the christmas shop first okay so i got the coffee cans I will insert footage here because I cannot find them. I know I bought them and then I've been doing crafting for this craft fair that I'm doing and we've been organizing and we're decorating for Christmas and in the chaos I have misplaced them. But they are in my house somewhere, you can rest assured that I bought them and I think they were a dollar a piece. Although I can't confirm, I know one of them was a dollar, the other one was either one dollar or two dollars. I don't remember. They're super cute and I'm going to use them for crafting and decor this Christmas. Okay, the next thing I found you might have seen them if you follow me on Instagram, are these stocking holders. And these were, I believe, a dollar a piece. Uh, or no, they were 50 cents a piece, I think. I think they are so cute. They're totally vintage. I'm not gonna use them as stocking holders though. Okay, this one, everyone, there, there's mixed feelings about his eyes being red. Maybe he had too much fun last night. I don't know why they painted his eyes red. I have no idea, but you know, whatever, it's okay. He's still a panda and I still think he's cute. And then there was some minor terror about this one because it's a snowman who has hair. And to some people, he looks like a clown. I don't know, I think he's cute. <laughs> you can form your own opinion, but I am going to use them on a shelf and I'm gonna use them to hold some uh, garland, some lightweight garland. And I think it's gonna be cute on my vintage shelf area. So I got those and then I also got this, my mother-in-law found this. I'm gonna use this on my wooden ornaments tree, which I bought yesterday. I bought a tree to use. Um, I got a flocked tree. I'm super excited about it because I think the wooden ornaments will show up really nicely against the white of the branch, you know, of the snow on the branches. But anyway, so my mother-in-law found this and this was a dollar. It's super cute. This little nose is broken, but I can just color that in and it, I don't think you'll notice because I I don't notice it, but I think he's really adorable. Oh, and he, his little ear is, oh, it's floppy. It's still there, it's felt. So his ear is felt um, right here. But anyway, so I thought that was really cute. Okay, so that's all that I got at that Christmas sale. Um, I did see other things, but 
I was um, holding back a little because my mother-in-law was in town and we we're going to be having dinners out. And so I was trying to not spend too much money on thrifting. So then my husband and I went to a sale for a thrift store that was advertising. Um, they were having like a big Christmas sale. So we went to that and we got several things and the prices were very good at this thrift store. So first I got, um, these are like ornaments. Frank's was a nursery and craft place that closed years ago now. Um, these are made in Taiwan. So they are a little older. They don't have barcodes on them. I don't know what that means. They're, to me, they look like they're from the eighties. I don't know. But anyway, I got two horses. This one's like a carousel horse and I'm not using these as ornaments. Um, I'm not even on my ornament tree. I'm going to craft with these. I, I have some uh, ideas in mind for some things that I might list on Etsy. I'm um, thinking about it. So I got those two. And then I also got these two little soldiers also from Frank's nursery and crafts. And these are all 50 cents a piece. And then I got these because I have these little, um, they're listed on my Etsy shop now. Um, they look like little, almost like rag doll ornaments. Um, and one of them looks like it's supposed to be holding a balloon, but the balloon is gone. So I thought maybe I could put that on there and then, you know, indicate that I fixed it. Um, but see if anyone wants them once they are complete. So, and if not, I'll just use those little dolls in crafting. Okay, and then also at the same store, I got some tinsel for 50 cents. Just, I'll use that on some of my mini trees. And I got a bottle brush tree. This was um, $2, which is a little much, but I thought it was pretty. And I haven't seen like plain white ones like in this size. It's pretty big, if you can see next to my next to my face. It's pretty large. So that'll be good in my crafting. And it looks a little older. Like I don't know if you can see the stem. So really liked it. So I paid up a little bit for that. Okay. And then I got this Mr. Peanuts tin and the, I'm going to sell this. Um, these are collectible. There was a whole series that was put out with Mr. Peanuts. He's the Nabisco, um, symbol guy. I have some Nabisco stuff around my house because my dad worked there when I was a kid. So. so I got that and that was only 50 cents. And then I got this guy who I thought was so cute. And he's like an elf or an, I don't know, a gnome. I don't really know. He has a red nose, which might freak some people out. I don't know. <laughs> people don't like things that look like clowns. And he was $1.50. And he is, um, what is he marked? Oh, he does have a mark. It says Ardco. Fine quality Dallas made in Japan. So, and he doesn't have like holes, like he wasn't a salt and pepper. I don't know, I guess he was just a figure. So, I thought that was cute. Okay. And, oh, and then I got one other thing, which is actually behind me. Um, it's a picnic basket, but it's different than any one that I've seen before. Um, so it has this second layer that actually folds out. So let me see if I can fold it in. So it closes like this, oopsie, like this. And then you can lift this. I don't wanna break it. It needs a little repair, but um, we're gonna repair it. And, but you lift it like this. And then it has a leg. Ugh that comes out and the lid stands behind it to, to keep the lid from dropping. So I just thought that was really cute. Let me turn the camera down just a little so you can see it better. And I am going to, I haven't committed to what I'm going to put Christmas greens in it for sure. And then I think I'm going to put some of my vintage toys in here. To display I think that'll be make for a really pretty display probably somewhere in this room but I'm not entirely certain yet I haven't haven't completely committed but it there def it definitely will be used for Christmas time in one of my displays now that I did pay five fifty for, but I thought that was a great price because it's so different oh and it does have a mark it says woven wood by Jerry will trademark and that's like burned into the wood 
on the lid. Um, so it's just so different that that's why I got it. You know, I really love picnic baskets. I use them in a lot of my decor and I have several different kinds of wooden ones, but I've never seen one like that. So that's why I got that for $5.50. You know, it's a little more than I usually pay. I still thought it was a very good price and I think it's gonna be really pretty. And I won't just use it for Christmas. I mean, I got it with Christmas in mind because I think it'll be really pretty with Christmas greens, but I can also use it obviously other times of the year. Okay, and then I also got this. And this is one of those deco wear canisters. It says flower, It was that was the only one that was there. And I got this because um, in my bedroom, I've shown you like sneak peeks. I really should do a video at some point. I'm use, I do a lot of that, um, like almost like a jadeite green. So my bedroom is white with gray bedding and accents. But then um, I also do as an accent color that jadeite green. And then my metal finish is copper. I don't have copper anywhere else in my house, but I love it. And that was a place where I could work it in. So I thought this would be really pretty. I can either use it like this, which I think I probably will, because I actually have a lamp down in my room that says sugar on it, so I thought this would be cute with that. Uh, and I can just store stuff in it, and it just really looks pretty. So I got that because of the copper. Okay, then I went to a thrift store with my friend Tammy, and I think I'm gonna do a video of our adventures. We, we went and we made wreaths. We went to a farm up north and then we did some thrifting. We had lunch. So I think I'm gonna put a vlog up probably in the coming week of that. But I'm just gonna show you now, since I have it in front of me, the things that I got with Tammy. And then I can always link you back to this video um, when I post the vlog. So, okay, so I am working on collecting ball jars for um, my Christmas centerpiece on my dining table. My, um, friend Brent from White Lab Workshop made me a trough, which I think you saw in a video. And I'm staining that with this weathered gray stain. And then I'm going to be painting some of these and then um, leaving some of them. But it's, uh, it's just an idea I had. I saw something like it on Pinterest and I'm adapting it for my centerpiece. So I needed some larger ball jars. So they're going to be all different sizes. And so I got this one and it's Kerr self-serving. It's Mason. And these were all 25 cents because they were marked 50, but yellow tags at this particular store on this day were half price. So I got that one. I got a wide mouth, um, small, shorter one. And then I got this one. It has the Liberty Bell, but I really like this. And that will really stand out. It says Mason. That'll really stand out when I paint them. And then I got this one and it's just a ball mason jar. And I, I always like the ones with the numbers for um, measuring. I just think that's cool. And that again will look really nice when I paint it. So that's what those are for. And then while I was looking at the jars and bottles, I found this. I don't, it's not old, but I always love this color glass. It looks really pretty with grays and greens. Um, and whites. That's just a real a color palette that I really like, especially for like January, February, and into spring before Easter and things get pastel and stuff. I like that color palette for that um, later part of the winter. I just think it's really pretty and it works in a little bit of green, like hints of green, like spring is coming. So that's what I got that to use for. And then I found this little goose and he was just 50 cents. Um, he was meant to be an ornament. I'm not going to use it as an ornament. I'll use it in an assemblage or an ornament, you know, something that I put together for Christmas time. And it's not marked, but that's fine. And I got this, which I thought was really different. It's not old, um, but that's fine. It's made in China. But, and the reason I like it is because, okay, so you could put, it probably came with candy or something in it. And it says like, the Tin Box Company of America, made in China. Um, but look at his head pops off, which is really funny. And then you can put stuff inside. Oops. And I'm guessing maybe it came with candy. That's that'd be my guess. But anyway, I just thought it was different. And I'm just going to put him on a shelf with my um, Santa collection. Just because he's unlike anything that I have. Okay, and then... Two more things. I'm going to insert some footage here 
I got these two vintage candy canes. Um, they have, they're marked as Kmart. They're probably from the eighties. I like them because they look older and they were a dollar a piece. These will be probably in this little Merry Christmas tin with the birch bark and some Christmas greens and some ribbon. And I think that will look really pretty and um, it'll stay out of our way for when we need to shovel the walkway here. Okay, so those are my candy canes. And then the last thing I wanna show you, which I absolutely adore, and oh, hold on, I have to get one thing to show you with it. Okay, so I have never had an actual cloche and I found one. I am so excited about this. It's not huge, but it's a decent size. It was $1.50 and I got this from Michael's. It was on sale for $3, I think. It's just a piece of um, basswood, basswood. I guess you say basswood, I don't know. Anyway, it's a piece of wood and I'm going to set it on here and do little displays for the seasons underneath. And I think the first one, one of you had suggested um, that my little mini train would look good in a display. I think my little mini train that I got a few weeks ago will look great under this with like some Christmas trees and some maybe some other little things that I work into it, but I think that's gonna look really cute. So that's what that's for, and then I can use it for Easter. I could put bunnies or eggs or whatever. I, I'm very excited to have this. So, and cloches are hard to find and they're not cheap. So that I thought was probably my favorite find. Well, that or the picnic basket. So, okay, and that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I found at the Christmas shop and at thrift stores this week. Stay tuned later in the week for my uh, weekly bins haul. And then also uh, be on the lookout for another DIY and a video um, with Robin Johnson and Jamie from Border Bananas. We'll probably all post videos on the same day like we did the last time. So um, have a good week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.